Hi you guys, Jennifer Pelfini here, aloha. Well, I guess I shouldn't say aloha anymore because I'm not in Hawaii. As you can see, I'm back in my kitchen and I'm wondering like why I'm going live right now because my kitchen is such a disaster. I just went grocery shopping. <clears throat> now if you've been following me, you know that I did not go grocery shopping almost two weeks in front of my Kauai trip, maybe a week and a half. And I waited a week until I went grocery shopping when I got back. And since I've been back, I've been cooking and I've been cleaning out my freezer and getting rid of things. And in the midst of it, I totally forgot that this wonderful man we know grows lemons in his backyard. When we lived in, Southern, when we lived in um, Northern California, we used to have a lemon tree and I absolutely loved it. But the one thing I've never done is make homemade lemonade. And I've been kind of in a funk since I got back from my trip because a two-week vacation. Going back to reality is, you know, it's tough, right? I'm grateful for the vacation, but it was rocky getting back. Adriana's sleeping's off. I've had a cold from the fires and the change in the pressure and the temperatures and stuff. And I've just been like, I haven't really just wanted to chat with anybody. I've just been like, okay, let's get heads down and get back into it again. So anyway, so today I finally did go grocery shopping and I was thinking, you know what? I'm gonna make some lemonade because lemonade always makes me happy when I have lemonade. So I bought some tea and I was gonna make some, um, some Arnold, po Arnold Palmer's for later. But I wanted to make this fresh lemonade because I have a whole batch of lemons, as you can see right here. By the way, this is our new kitch, plastic kitchen um, mixing bowl. I love it, you guys. I've used it a bunch of times already. And I love the idea of having a plastic bowl in the kitchen. And it's so gorgeous. Look just like how nice that is. Isn't it pretty? Um, and so I took my citrus press and I pressed all these lemons. I did a go live while I was doing it actually in one of my parties. And I've got a cup of lemons here. I'm just going to make sure I don't have any seeds. I think I got... Most of them got caught by the citrus press, but I see one or two seeds. I'm just going to get those out. And all I'm going to do, this recipe I found from the kitchen says, just um, take the lemon with the sugar and whisk it. So I'm going to get my whisk. Where did I put my lock? I'm always losing my child lock in the house. I just put it away somewhere. Oop, there it is. I'm going to get my whisk and whisk it together, and then we're just going to add water and be done. <clears throat> and then when I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and make some homemade applesauce because you guys know I always am making applesauce. And I'm just going to put that in the blender and let it go. So I'm getting back into the rhythm of things. Adriana starts school again tomorrow. I think I need a couple more lemons. I'm so excited for this lemonade. And then I'm going to cut up some slices and I'm going to put it in the quick stir pitcher on the bottom. And it's just going to be just a pretty nice drink to have just to get us in the mood of sunshine. Which actually today we had a pretty nice day. We've had smoke for weeks. We were gone through most of the smoke, thankfully. But today was actually the first day that the air was actually okay. Aren't these lemons gorgeous? Look at these. I miss having a lemon tree like that. It's so amazing. I'm getting on the table. So don't get on the table, honey. So anyway, you guys, I just wanted to pop in and say hi. Let you know I'm back. Um, Wanted to get your opinion on the new products. Is there anything that's kind of like, hey, let me let me check that one out. Let me know. Um, I have them all now. And I also have the, I just got the Flex Plus. The Flex Plus is one I actually didn't earn, but I was able to purchase for my $500 um, Pepper Chef dollars that I earned for the Excellence Award I received this year. So it didn't cost me anything out of pocket, which is awesome. And like, I think I have like three of these mixing bowls. I mean, I have multiples and duplicates of stuff because I got the box for being a director, the box for sales in May and June, and then the box for attending conference. So I've got plenty of pampered around me um, and I've already used last night and I'll, I'll post this soon. I used our steam, our saute and steam pan, which you guys is pretty amazing. It has a steamer within it and it's non-stick. It has an removable. Hey Adriana, can you wait a second while I'm on the, while I'm on the video? And it has a removable handle, handle you're accustomed to with our nonstick cookware. It has a steamer that goes right in here. So last night what I did, and I'll, I, I'll do a video on this shortly, I had some langostina in the freezer, because I told you guys I wasn't going grocery shopping, I'm using everything in my freezer. And I steamed it on the top, and then I had a chow mein mix that I made in the bottom, all in one pan. It was fantastic. I just steamed it with the lid, and cleanup was really easy because everything can go in the dishwasher. So that is our new pan added to the collection. I just love it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this lemonade. Does anyone make homemade lemonade? I've never, can you believe I've never made homemade lemonade? 
I'm pretty sure we did when we had the stands when we were kids. Now the recipe I said from the kitchen said you don't need to create a simple syrup, that you don't have to do that. You just have to mix the sugar with the fresh lemon juice and then pop six quarts of, not six quarts, six, six cups of water into the pitcher, which I'm gonna be able to um, figure out math. What does it say six quarts is how many cups? One and a half quarts of water. Okay, so one and a half quarts of water. So this is marked to two quarts. I'll fill it to right there of water with the mix. And then, like I said, I'm gonna throw some lemon slices in the bottom and that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my water in, transfer my lemon in here. Looks like I got a little thing. What is that? Looks like a little remnant from a lemon. Of course, I can't see to get it. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, we went to the grocery store today and Adriana was so much fun at the grocery store. I haven't gone with her for a while because she's in school. And it was so much fun to go to the grocery store with her. I forgot how much fun it is. She's just fun to shop with. Um, as long as she has snacks and she ate. Okay, so, and again, we're mixing it. We're making sure it's really mixed. Because you don't want the sugar to separate from the lemon and your sugar to sit on the bottom. So what he says in the recipe is strain it. I'm not gonna strain it because I know I have no problems with that. Um, add the sugar to the strained juice. Whisk until the sugar is completely dissolved. I'm still whisking. Add the water and chill. Transfer the lemonade base to a serving pitcher. Add the water and stir to combine. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. You can hear Adriana singing in the background. And then chill lemonade at least one hour before serving. So that's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, I think this is stirred up enough. And these are lemons from our friend's backyard. I'm so excited. Do you wanna say hi? Here, come over here, say hi. Come over here. Jump up, say hi. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. I'm not jumping up. Okay, go watch Daniel Tiger. Go watch Daniel Tiger. I got Adriana watching Daniel Tiger wipe the groceries so I can get all these tasks done. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour my pour my my mix in. You can see there's no there's a little bit of sugar on the bottom. No problem. I'm just gonna scoop that out. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this lemonade. Actually, I'm gonna care if all the sugars in there because I was actually gonna use less sugar, but then I got distracted. So then I'm gonna put six cups of cold water in there. I'm gonna measure it from here. So this is gonna be four cups. My water is filtered, so that's why I'm doing it this way versus the tap. Okay, so that's four cups. And I'm gonna do two more cups, and we'll be good to go. And then, then I'm gonna slice some lemons and put my um, my top in my my stir. Uh, pitcher. Okay, two cups. Okay. right at two quarts, just a little bit below that'll give me room for my lemons. So I'm just gonna cut up a couple lemons. By the way, I'm using my Santuco knife for this. Love this knife. I'm just gonna cut them up and I'm gonna quarter them, I think. Or I might just leave them as slices, I don't know. They are gonna have seeds in them, but that's okay because I'm gonna put them on the bottom and in my quick stir pitcher, they will sit underneath the grid here and the lemon, the, see the seeds won't go beyond. Hi Bridget, I saw you call me today. I know I need to call you. Just getting back to life. Okay, so here's my lemonade. Isn't that gorgeous you guys? I don't know, I just love, and then the pitcher, I'm just gonna push it down. I'm gonna make sure everything's all stirred up by just kind of doing this motion. 
You can see everything's staying in there. My lemon might be popping out. That was a thin one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for an hour and take a sip. But you know I'm curious and I can't have this lemonade in front of me without trying it, so I gotta try it. My plan is to mix it with tea and make Arnold Palmer's, so. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Mm. Not too sweet, not too tart, perfect. Now how many lemons did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think about eight lemons and then one for the garnish. So that's what I did. I got some seeds on top, but that's okay. I'll just strain those out. That one, that one escaped. You escaped, you weren't. So actually what I can do, since I know they're there, is catch it and pop those seeds out. Pop that out. It's probably the longest lemonade demo ever. Anyway, I also wanna pop on to and remind you guys that September is a great month to host if you're looking to host with all the new products. If you have a party that has $200 in sales, you can pick any item you want for 60% off. And if your party with $200 party, and if your party is 650 or more, you get an extra $100 credit to spend how you want. So it's a really good time to party. So, okay, you guys, well, here's my lemonade. Delicious! I love the quick store picture. I just got it towards the end of the summer, and I'm like, why didn't I get it sooner? I just love it. So, yes, you can. We're going to put it in the refrigerator for a little while, okay? So watch your show, and then we'll have lemonade. Yay! And cookies. Ah! Okay. Take care, you guys. Thanks for listening. Mess with me with any questions you have about the new products um, and um, the host offer or joining my team. We're actually having a join session, uh, informational session today at 530. PST, if you want to join that, I'll put the link up here soon. Okay. Take care, you guys. It's good to be back. Bye.